Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, weekend hunters of all ages, it's Sean. Welcome back. It is Saturday, November 18th. It is the second weekend of Missouri rifle season. Uh, this is a solo set. Wow, I look really bald there. Okay. Um, it's a solo Saturday hunt, and uh, I'm headed back out to the honey hole. So last week where we set up with, uh, with Gabe, we know there was at least one more buck in the area with that other buck that Gabe shot last week. Uh, we reviewed the footage when I was editing everything and we saw that buck and he looked pretty decent, but uh, we know there's another good buck in there. Actually, we know there's another couple good bucks in there just based on our preseason scouting. Uh, we know the property owner killed a six pointer this week on Monday. So congrats to him and uh but we know it wasn't that buck or at least any of the good bucks that we had seen on camera this year so i'm excited to get back out there this afternoon depending on how this morning hunt goes this afternoon's hunt maybe a second video but uh this afternoon madison and another young man from our church uh, may be hitting up some public land nearby the honey hole and so i may join them or since we're so close still go hunt at the honey hole and uh see what happens with them as well so anyways uh i'm excited second weekend of rifle season and uh i'm ready to put one down i've got five tags i've got one uh firearms any deer and one firearms antlerless so let's see if i can tag out on one sit that'd be cool let's go <laughs> It is uh, a few minutes after 10 o'clock, and I haven't seen a thing all morning, just a bunch of squirrels. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pack up, get down. I may leave my sticks and uh, saddle here, because I'm kind of on the entrance of the property, and I may uh, just kind of take a lap around the property with the rifle and uh, see see if I spook anything up or not. Uh, there was a shot at some point early this morning uh, from one of the properties that's adjacent to this property. Uh, and I could hear somebody work on a rattle bag. So, who knows, probably. It was only one shot, so they probably took down something. Um, so anyways, Madison and another guy from our church, Andrew, are uh, gonna be headed this way here in a little bit. And so I'm gonna decide between hunting here this evening or uh, going with them and hunting some public land and spreading out and uh, see what we can do from there. So anyways, I'm not done yet. Uh, I still got tonight's hunt and then uh, next week's Thanksgiving and I can hunt Friday and Saturday. Uh, so 
plenty of time uh, left uh, with with rut and everything else. So we'll see what happens with the rest of this video. Stick around. So while I'm here uh, at the spot we're gonna hunt today, I wanna give a special shout out to Tanner, a uh, young man I met here at this uh, conservation area that we're gonna be hunting this afternoon. Um, kinda filled me in a little of the details on this, uh, this property, uh, this conservation area. And uh, so just wanted to shout out to him and uh, thanks for the info. Um, waiting for Madison and Andrew to get here. I do want to talk about something else though. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say, well, if you're a bow hunter, why are you using a rifle? You can just use a rifle tag and still use your bow. That's true. It's not that I don't like using my bow. It's just that I view the bow and the rifle as tools to accomplish a goal. And that goal being to tag out, to kill as many deer as possible for the freezer and for operation share the harvest which Missouri does you can donate uh, your meat you can donate your deer harvest uh, through a designated processor and so uh, I like to have two deer that we process for our family and then uh, everything else I like to donate to operation share the harvest but you got to kill them first so we've got Gabe's at the processor I still need one more to get to the processor and then uh, we'll go from there Hey, boy. Hey. You know, I actually stopped here one time and fished. Was it any I was good? Working. I just happened to come down this road. Well, I almost caught a catfish. Oh. So any smallest? I am feeling. Hey. Um, no. I casted uh, some chicken under that bridge. Oh. Got a few nibs. All right, so. Madison and Andrew are going to go down to the uh, adjacent public property. I'm going to head back under this bridge over here, work along the river uh, edge, see if I can find where the deer are crossing, and then set up in my saddle and um, see if I can't catch something working along the river, river bank and crossing over to the other side. So let me finish getting geared up and let's see what happens. Something, something died in here. I don't know if that means I got drug in here or what. Slightly intimidating. So I ended up, I ended up settling on the uh, side of the started on uh, just due to wind being in my face over here and then it should break out um, back behind me over across the river so uh, back over here where I was just at there's a lot of sign that the deer are crossing and going back and forth right here so I'm going to uh, monkey up this tree and get set it's 2 30 now so hopefully by three, I'll be set and ready for the last two and a half hours. All right, all right. Okay. I am set up. It's three o'clock on the dot. Um, got a pretty good view left to right and behind me the river bank on the other side. It is important to note since I'm on public land I can't screw in one of my camera arms, so I may not have as many camera angles if I 
uh, do take a shot at something. So you'll just have to bear with me. I'm gonna shut up now because I just heard something back there. Let's see what happens. My wind. Real quick update. I just popped a doe. Um, she came right to my strong hand side, my right hand side. Came out of the thick stuff that's back over here. Uh, she came out of there and uh, she was by herself, but she was looking right at me. I had just turned from looking back down here, and she saw me, um, so I just held still. I didn't have enough time to get that camera turned on. She was so close that it makes a lot of noise when I turn that camera on, so I've still got to upgrade that camera. But she took off. Um, it happened so fast, I didn't, I didn't see her. Uh, she, did, she didn't take off running. She was uh, hobbled. Pretty sure I saw her fall down uh, just a couple seconds ago. So I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. Uh, it's 4.30ish now. So we still have about an hour of daylight. Ideally, I wanna get down there and uh, and try to recover before it gets uh, dark and uh, get, get everything else uh, rolling with her. Um, so, meet in the freezer, baby. So, I just, uh, I just found her, um, she's a yearling, she's not at all what I thought, at the first shot, I gut shot her, um, so I'm not happy about that, I had to come up on her and, um, take her out, so, uh, not, um, not as big as a doe as I thought, and, not a good, not as good of a shot as it should have been, but um, I'm gonna salvage what I can and I'll, I'm gonna get her out of here and um, cut her up. Uh, just, just disappointed. Not how I wanted to do. Uh, take a take a deer and. Um, Yeah, anyways, I'm not going to show any more for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We try to be ethical. We try to be good stewards of uh, conservation. And uh, just upset at myself. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.